Thank you, Alfonso Mateo, for having this poem up, my poem, even though I was two minutes late biking here. Little things mean a lot. There's a song in my day. <laughs> Throw me a kiss across a crowded room. Well, first of all, who am I, though? And who are you? I am Michael Coran. This is AHA, a human among humans. I hope we're all getting closer. I, it's been a lifelong <laughs> journey for me. I'm 80 now and becoming more human felt like there was a uh, plastic model inside me and then finally the help of dear friends and God it did it crack melt I think it might have melted away. It's protecting me. Now all these feelings are coming up. That I need, am I plastic model seem to help protect me because they were too difficult to handle. I'm sure you understand. Well, I mean, um, my name is Michael Coran, by the way. This is a ha human among humans. This is a poem I wrote this week. Biking here, I just was a woman with a dog who saw me coming. I biked on the sidewalk because I don't want to get run over by a car. And of course, I, of course, then could run people over which I never have. I've done a few should we say bad <laughs> things two that come to mind oh, when I'm coming home from the harvest food co-op with lots of groceries in my front basket there was a man walking toward me and he saw me so I slowly kept going, and he didn't move out of the way. And I fell onto the curb, scraped my knee. I thought it took me a year, I think, for the knee to recover. And then he very kindly tries to help me up. I said, no, no, I didn't trust him. He seemed drunk. He didn't step out of the way. But I was wrong. I was biking on the bicycle on the sidewalk. This is probably a confession I often do. I try to go to sidewalks that are allow that. That don't have that no biking sign. Not always though. But still careful. Not to hit, although late to TV a couple of weeks ago, oh, not, to not be late, it was a elderly man, I should talk, short, I think, balding a bit, pushing a baby carriage, and I cut in front of him and he said, you, and he looked at me and said, you asshole. And as I was biking away, I said, yes, you're right. Not that that helped him any. But I had trouble. I don't know if you have it. You, when I'm d doing something, especially since I'm often depressed, I'm doing something, I don't want to stop. And I'm going to get killed if I don't. Biking, I just want to get where I'm going. 
often leaving not quite enough leisurely time. This morning, going to my dermatologist to have her look, among other things, at a kind of a, a size of a quarter hole on my left calf. I had some skin cancer that I let get grow too much. They do what's called mows. They take they take a round circle around the can cancer, and then they see if they get it all. If not, they have to take a bigger circle, which they did this time. But I'm biking, and I don't want to be late. And again, this time I bike into the street against the traffic. There's a little, little lane, not even a bike lane. And a car hikes at me, probably trying to save my life. And I would love to be able However fast I'm trying to be, to stop on a dime. We can't ask for these things. I do. I pray. God help me stop on a dime. Psyche help me. We Prayer is great because it can, even if you don't believe in God, talk to various parts of us. Like I have many crushed buds. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to have feelings and certainly I cried when I was a child. When I played chess with my dad and lost, he was kind too. He, when I was really young, he took off a queen and I got older, a castle. And even then, if I lost, I would cry. I seemed to have to win, alas. I couldn't lose. Now, I'm a loser in many ways. Didn't get my PhD at the University of Chicago by posting a note on the bulletin board. The chairman of the Committee on Social Thought David Green, who was a wonderful teacher, is no longer on the committee. I would, um, delusions of grandeur, I could decide that. And of course, they decided I was not on the committee on social thought. Well, we're wandering, which I do, but we have something to focus on, maybe a brief. 17 syllable, I call them high clues. High cues have 17 syllables, usually 575. Five. This is a little freer than that. As my grandiose self is asking questions about everything, energy's subjectivity. What if energy, energy is very responsive, right? Feel the force around the sun. There's energy, lights and energy in photons. They come streaming toward us, making all our food. You know, even uh, the animals need to eat the plants, keeping us warm. What a gift the sun is. There's a wonderful poem Alas, maybe better than this one, by Robert Frost, a four-line poem. The title is, It Bids Pretty Fair. The play seems out for an infinite run. The play seems out for an infinite run. Don't mind a little thing like the actors fighting. The only thing I worry about is the sun. We'll be all right. Nothing goes wrong with the lighting. The play seems out for an infinite run. Don't mind a little thing like the actors fighting. 
The only thing I worry about is the sun will be all right if nothing goes wrong with the lighting. Will might not be the human race, might not be life on Earth, it might be rocks and water. But are they, do they have personalities too? I don't see why not. I, I'm getting to know an oak tree by my home in a park. I do yoga by the tree, hug it, <laughs> give it a little kiss. Well, people might not think it's too strange because I might consider it part of a yoga exercise. And I'm getting to be friends with this oak tree. Sometimes call him Mr. Oak. And I like to think he likes me too. Nice to be hugged once in a while. I mean, in the past, so many different traditions had a tree spirit that you could talk to, certainly hug. I mean, I can't imagine. I mean, trees are so wise. Making it in cold weather, warm weather, storms, wise and beautiful. Divinities in their own in their own way. I mean, whatever that means. I, uh, I mean, they were. Worsh trees were worshipped. The uh, prophets were very angry at the Israelites and their neighbors for worshipping trees. One of the worship the invisible energy field, which maybe is more important. Can't quite see love or freedom. They're more delicious and nutritious even than apples. So is energy, is it subjective? There's an energy around our body. It's called the kinesphere in the dance community here. And of course it's responsive. It radiates out to you now. And if I imagine, well, you could be, I can feel you radiating out to me with everything, the walls, colors. Do they have personalities like us? Certainly ancient people all thought that. Spirit of the forest, spirit of the bear, thanks to the bear, when our great ancestors, our great great grandparents killed the bear, thank you, bear spirit, for giving your life to us. We do it now when we say grace in a way. Thank you, cow, for yogurt. So, Maybe the, I can read this poem. Energy's subjectivity. Does all that is, does all that is have its own personality? Especially me with thee. I mean, you have a personality, I do. And does our relationship, is that alive? Is our love alive or our friendship? Our family, does it have its own energy field? Its own personality, certainly its own energy field. Its own personality made up of us? Just like we can, we all make up. Is there a spirit of Cambridge? It feels like it. Love it. 
free-spirited, the People's Republic of Cambridge, and friends of mine from Cambridge moved to Lexington and moved back because they, everyone thought they were strange. It seemed perfectly fine to me. Energies, subjectivity. Does all that is have its own personality? Especially me with me. Does the big bang or if a woman discovered it, women scientists, they might have called it the big blossom. Because it seems to be blossoming out of something now. Many physicists now are talking about multi-universes or a black hole has exploded giving birth to our universe. Black holes in center of most galaxies keep the galaxies going. That's us, our Milky Way. Nine o'clock tonight on Nova, you can see about the Milky Way. But if the universe is subjective to this huge energy field with some clumps of matter, but we know since Einstein, matter too, that means our bodies, our energy, kind of slow down a bit, thank goodness. We can feel energy in our hands, feel people's energy from afar, know when someone's looking back at us, feel the power when someone says to me or maybe you, asshole, that has its power. Those words can hurt, that's not quite true. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but names will never harm me. Although when Peanuts told that to Lucy, she picked up a rock and said, okay, and threw it at him. But words can, you know, if we feel we're beautiful, if, some, if we really take it in, that we're loved, that we can do most anything, I was tempted to say within reason, but so much we can do. And can we open to, if what is what people call God, the subjectivity of our universe or more? Is there where the universe, you know, the big blossom is like a seed planted with uh, all kinds of rules of the game, right? Built in. We're playing it. E equals MC squared is one of them. Masses attract each other, the inverse square of their distance. Light travel, they, they, that's part of the, where did those laws come from? Is there a lawmaker who created the big blossom? Or is there just more blossoming? We, we call a lawmaker, it's beyond the lawmaker. The laws of nature are a wonder to behold as the leaves turn gold. But what about the end of this poem? Energy, subjectivity, does all that is have its own personality? especially me with thee. Do we, if we're friends, if we're communicating now, even if you're watching this later, hi, <laughs> hello. Does what is grown between us, the energy fields of our kinospheres, our words, do they have this, because there's so much life, there's so much life on us. I, I think that I'm underestimating millions of bacteria that help us be. 
they helping digest food in our gut. Oh. So, along all the personalities of our white blood cells that are fighting off disease, that are, or our immune system, plus it our you immune system for fighting the good fight and keeping us here. So what would it mean if, like ancient people, we thought the sun had a personality? Would we get along better? Would we feel more gratitude, grateful? Thank you, Mr. Sun for keeping us warm. When we sing to the universe, thank you, Mr. Universe. Thank you, Mrs. Universe. Thank you, dear universe, for not being worse. That's probably mean of me to say that, but I mean, the universe, beautiful as it is, can be quite tough galaxies, swallowing galaxies. The universe seems to like eating. There's a wonderful story about a mouse, an uh, indigenous American story of a mouse, of course, having its own subjectivity in the story. Eventually, being eaten by an eagle and it always had wanted to fly and now it could fly. So eating, when we're eating a chicken, if you're um, not a strict vegetarian, a chicken has a chance to be you, lucky chicken, especially if we're grateful to it, kill it well, let it be free range, feed it well. So eating is a chance for subjectivities to change their personalities. The mouse become an eagle. When we die, I mean, the earth eats us, and worms too, and fish eat worms. People eat fish. We can be reincarnated in many, many, many ways. Energy's subjectivity does all that is, does all that is, have its own personality, especially me with the, and we have our own now maybe some relationship, distant friendship, or at least a distant relationship. It's a nice word. Maybe we're creating it now, I hope. I mean, Christianity would speak of a Holy Spirit that's going between us, and the Holy Spirit is, is a being, a divine being. Oh, God, that our relationship is divine, what goes between us. It has a life of its own. It asks us ten friendships. We've been doing that at times, yes. Caring, mending, tending friendships. Well, thanks for joining us. Energy's subjectivity. That all, does all that is have its own personality, especially me with thee.